I'm Ethan Sloan. And for the next five days, I'm gonna live in the park of Fenton with nothing but myself and some good luck. As you can see, it's it's pretty built up in there. I mean, I could try and get through the uh, trees and brush if I needed to, but due to the circumstances of my survival, it uh, it really only depends on how I'm feeling of the day. Now these little, these uh, little papers here, very crucial to survival, that uh, you can keep them and perhaps you can even eat them whenever you uh, need your food. And uh, it's, it's lucky for me, I haven't had food in a couple hours, and uh, I want to need it. building my shelter you always want to start your shelter a little early because there's nothing worse than coming home or not really coming home but nightfall hitting you and you don't have a place to sleep this should hold up pretty nice Oh. It seems like there's almost no places to find food here. You almost need a map to be drawn for you. Because really, you can't do anything out here. I mean, there's been stories of many wild men that had, a, that had made it out here for a couple days and never came home. Let's hope that doesn't happen to me. I've just got to keep moving and eventually find my way back to civilization. And I don't want to lose my fort. It's the only thing going to keep me alive. These logs here, great firewood. See the uh, the bark on this is really, really flaky, and uh, as you can see, that should burn right away. Should be good firewood for me. All this dehydration, not enough water in your diets, it can cause you to, uh, you know, break down in hives and, uh, you know, you can go hungry for days, but uh, it's leaving me really dehydrated and I need to, uh, of course I need to pee.
You know, most people don't know. Uh, so that, it's the uh, eastern, you know, tree ranch. Most people don't know is it's actually quite edible, you know. It's got much needed protein, so helps keep the body moving. Oh, I've seen like six birds fly past. Means it's it's got to be awful, an awful good uh, bird ground. Which means it should be shouldn't be too hard to get actual some food here. Which uh, I'm in luck because the time of the season really depends on that. You know, uh, these leaves are all dead, but there's certain things you can do to make bird traps. I'm going to show you. Now. Essentially what I'm doing here is you find these these branches here and you just snap them off like that. And actually the little fibers in them make little sharp sticks. But instead of needing those, use the other half of the stick and up this big decaying log on it. You got yourself a fancy little bird trap. And, uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Like that. Time for me. Time for me to get some food. Now, most people don't know this, but desert is actually the best place to live. I may not be in the desert, but it's the best place to live. I think I found where I should be going. Back at camp. It's time for me to get a fire started. Fortunately, I couldn't find any firewood. So I'm just going to have to rough it and try and sleep tonight. All I've got is this, this little log down here. It's not much, but it should keep the bugs off me. So, I'm just going to... And you know... This may not be the most comfortable, but I mean, it really does help. I'm off to sleep tonight, so talk to you later. That was not a good sleep. Time to go check my traps. Well, seems my trap has turned up some uh, old logs, but. Really, there's nothing I can do with this except firewood. So, I continue to go north, and I think I found civilization. This old Healy football came from the north, so I figured there must be civilization there, so that's where I headed. I've actually been walking for five days. And... I think I, yeah. See that? Woohoo! That is home. Oh, man. Well, now you know how to survive in the forest of Fenton. Good night.